Oh. Yay. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to a video. I actually made this video this time last year and it's one of my most watched videos so I thought I'd recreate it as a final year law student rather than a second year law student and kind of see how the process may or may not have changed. So in today's video I am going to be taking you through the process of how I write an essay. The essay that I did last time was a very legal focused essay where the essay that I'm doing this time is much more like theory, I guess, and more like wishy-washy, cloudy, you know, it's not really like substantive law is what I'm trying to say. But I think in a way that it's gonna be an interesting difference. So the essay that I'm doing is for my arts law module. The essay is 3000 words, but you need to choose two questions for it. So this video is going to focus on that first question, which is gonna be 1,500 words, basically going to take you through the process of you know, picking the question right up to submitting. The essay is due in nine days, so like, it's chill at this point, I say that now, but like, it's not like, vital, whereas the video I did last year, it was like, it's three days before or whatever, it was a mess. Whereas I feel like this year, if anything, we're organised. Yeah, watch this video just go terribly wrong from here on out. Anyway, I hope you like this video, thumbs up if you want more videos like this, I hope it helps. On with the video. Okay, so it's day one of picking up the essay. Um, I need to kind of pick my questions. So they've given us eight to choose from, but I kind of want to choose the two that I want to do. Um, God, I've just noticed that my I literally look awful. It's like my sand has declined so much from when I start and then finish an essay. So if this is how I'm starting it, I don't even want to know what I'm going to be like in three or four days time when I finish this essay. I, let's, let's just not dwell on that. Okay, let's just get on with the work. Okay, so this is the document that contains all of the questions that I can choose for my essay. There are some questions here that I literally wouldn't touch with a barge pole, and then there are others like this one on censorship that I would like to have done an essay on that topic, but I do not like the question of comparing English and American law, so that's why I've ruled that one out. So the ones in green are the ones that I'm going to go with, but the ones in yellow are ones that I thought potentially I might do. Basically, the way that I chose between the yellow yellow and the green questions where I went back and looked at my notes that I had taken throughout the term and realised that I had just more notes and a better understanding of the questions in green. So the first question is on how museum collections can sometimes lead to being destroyed or transferred or given on loan to other museums in order for the collection to truly be enjoyed and used. To me, having done the course, these are quite nice questions. So this video is going to focus on that first question about transferring loaning and disposing of items in museums and how that approach is sort of perceived in terms of how to run a museum, that one. So the next thing I do is basically break down the question. So I've picked out the key bits of the question and then detailed what the explain and what analyse means. And I've underlined the keywords within the question and then what I've done is I've put down a few ideas for and against for the question um, that I have gotten from reading my notes that I took from lectures and stuff from the course. Okay, so the next step once I have worked out the question and I know roughly what direction I'm going to head in is to look up sources. So the first thing I do is go to Your Search, which is the University of York's sort of library directive, and I look for journal articles and textbooks on there. Now this essay isn't really like textbook based because there's not much law. It's mainly just about a debate rather than substantive law, so I won't really need a textbook. And I don't really think there's gonna be many textbooks on art law anyway. So I will look at Your Search for journals. I'll also look at Google Scholar for journals and if there's any law or any statute that I need to look up then I will go to Westlaw. So then once I've gone onto all the websites and I've got the underlined words from my question, use those as a keyword search on the databases, I basically download any article that I can get my hands on and this is 1500 words so roughly probably about 30 articles would be sufficient um, that I'm going to aim to do. I mean realistically you could do the essay in what like 15 articles but I've got the time so I might as well like put more effort into it. So yeah I'm going to aim for 30-ish sources and try and read as much as I can. <laughs>
honestly, I'm already tired and I need a break. And I've read like five articles, not pages. <laughs> but honestly, God, oh, I'm done, I'm done. I've literally got to read like 500 more pages by tomorrow. Oh, we're at the desk now. It's getting real. Right now I'm reading the codes of ethics for museums. It's thrilling stuff. And like, apparently there's different codes for if you want to dispose of something, if you want to loan something, if you want to swap it with another museum, sell it, there's like codes of ethics for every single thing, which I didn't even know existed. It's kind of interesting, but it's so like, dull. <laughs> so that's what I'm reading right now. Okay, so it's 11.30. My eyes are like fighting to close. Um, yeah, I've got like two or three articles left to do before I'm gonna allow myself to go to bed. Um, I'm going home tomorrow, so <laughs> I'm trying to get as much as possible done before I go, because I know that like I've got a, like a couple hours drive and stuff, so it's gonna kind of wipe the day out. I'm not gonna get much done. And then I'm at home for a little bit. So hopefully I'll be able to get stuff done there because um, it's basically in the middle of nowhere in the countryside, so. But yeah, trying to get as much done as possible now. And stay awake. Okay. It's time to go to bed, honest to God. <sighs> Never felt so good. That's it for today, until tomorrow. And then enjoy some shots of me attempting to work whilst I was at home. You can literally see it going dark in these clips because that's how long I sat there. I literally sat there forever. I was such fun to my family, I am sure. Okay, so it's now like 6.30 in the morning. I came back from home last night. So it's a few days later, I didn't really do anything um, over New Year's. Basically now I have done all my research and I have made a essay plan. It's just like a case of writing it now. God, oh look, the acne is in full force right now. Look, I told you my appearance would like physically deteriorate over the course of this video. I'm staying true to it, clearly. So for the essay plan, basically last night, I like woke up in the middle of the night and I kind of wrote out all of what I wanted to say in the essay. Like, you know when you've done loads of research and you kind of like, kind of know what you want to say? And I basically just rolled over, grabbed my phone and in my notes, I wrote out just like a load of twaddle of kind of how I want the essay to be formulated. So what I've done from that is then turn it into like a rough essay plan of, how I want it to look and then now yeah now it's just a case of having to write it so I've got quite a while before the deadline like I've got like six days or something so it's fine but I also have to write the second 500 word essay so and when I say write I mean like start research right <laughs> so yeah uh we need to finish this today let's get going okay we're really out here getting our bare ass feet on camera but Okay, so because this is 1,500 words, it's actually not taking too long. So I've done about 600 now. Um, it should probably take like an hour and a half to do the rest, which isn't that bad, I don't really think. Um, I always find that for me, like the writing is the, like, the quickest bit. I think I spend probably like 90% of the time researching, toiling over like planning and all of that. Once I've gotten to that stage where I'm like, boom, 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 I know exactly what to write, I can just kind of bop it out, which I think is quite good. I think when I started uni, that wasn't the case at all. I would really like um and ah over how to formulate it and structure it and things. But I feel like now I just like to reach a point, like, you know, I feel like you know when you're doing essays, when, especially when you're doing research, you get to a point where you think that you feel comfortable, that you know what you're talking about. I mean, it's very rare for me, but like, 
you know, if I spend enough time on it, I get to a point where I'm like, yeah, 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 I know what I want to say, and I know how to articulate it, and then it's kind of like plain sailing from there. Whereas I feel like a lot in first year, I would, wouldn't have the time, so I'd do like minimal research, and then I would really, really struggle in writing it, because I wouldn't really know how to articulate what I'm trying to say, because I haven't done enough research. In summary, it's going quite well, uh, almost done. So obviously midway through writing and just kind of realised that I didn't show you my research document. So this is like a key part of my assessment process. So what I do when I take notes is I put them all into one big Word document. I reference as I go. And basically then it's just all there to like copy and paste into so you know what you're doing. Also a new development which I've done recently. When I'm planning the essay, what I do is I go through all my research and I kind of colour code it. So each colour will represent an argument or a paragraph. And then when I'm writing, I can literally say, right, okay, I'm writing say this paragraph on donors and then I'll look back through and find all of the yellow and then I can be like oh these are all the points for you know the donors in the yellow and bang all the research in as I go if that makes sense so I'll show you what that looks like so it starts with the subheading got the question here um, and then obviously the word count and then these initial ones are from the seminar reading that I've just banged at the top that's why the dates on them are from like forever ago um, but then you get into the research that I've done recently so as I said, reference fully as I go, each colour represents an argument. Yeah, and this is basically the research. And there is a lot. Okay, so it's now about half nine in the morning. I've done it, I've actually done it. I'm, I'm so happy. Um, yeah, as I said, it only took a few hours, but basically for the rest of the day now, I'm just gonna like read through this and tweak it and then start the new one. I have, I think, f f like four or five days, whatever it is, I don't know, I'm not looking, um, till the deadline. So after I've written the second essay, that'll be pretty much right up until deadline. So then on the actual deadline, I'll come back and reread this and tweak this then. Um, but basically we're done for now. Yay. So we've got the question here, and then my attempt at a fun title. I mean, you can't really get any more fun than give and let give for an essay about deaccessioning and museums. Like, there's only so much room and scope, you know, for humour, and that's as best as it gets. And then basically, oh my gosh, yeah, look at the referencing, I can't, I can't. Okay, yeah. But yeah, a little bit under word count, which is good, because then basically I have like 40, 50 words to play with, plus whatever is left over on the second essay that I do to come back and tweak it in a few days' time. Like, sources-wise, I think, like, I always find this interesting to know about other people. So, sources-wise, I use 27 in-text, like, footnote citations, um, and 17 sources, and that ranged from codes of ethics, articles and a book oh and statute as well um so quite a range of sources but as i said it's not a substantive law essay so there's not really much like law law in there it's more just about debating which is mainly just you know using articles and it's weird as well because it's art law yes there's a bit of law in there with the code of ethics and yada yada but it is mainly just art like I feel like when I'm writing this essay, like it's literally in the whole course really, it feels like an art course, which I like. It's like anything to avoid law. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically done now, time to start the new one. As I said, I'll revisit this in a few days, but I can finally breathe. I think I might just like work out or something, have a little two hours off, oh, the treat, the luxury. So I hope this video was helpful um, for how I do my essays. I'm gonna be intrigued to watch back the video that I made this time last year when I was writing an essay. I'll put the link in the bio. Let me know if you think there's any substantial differences. I think mainly that this one's a bit less of a mess, um, but I'll let you decide that. Let me know if you want any more videos like this. And thanks for watching, I'll see you next week. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.